In October 2007, Nissan tasked TBWA Shiat Day in Tequila to launch the Nissan Rogue into the highly competitive small crossover arena. The problem was, competitors like Toyota and Honda had been in the segment from the very beginning and now dominated the market. To make matters worse, new entrants seemed to pop up in the market every day. In 2000, there were only four models in the segment. By the time the Rogue launched in 2007, there were 17. Convention. Advertising for compact SUVs traditionally focused on domestic functionality. Traditional small SUV advertising spoke loudly and uniformly to consumer needs, but paid little attention to their style and performance wants. Vision. Make city driving fun. By highlighting style and performance features like intuitive all-wheel drive, paddle shifters and a sporty interior, we set out to prove that city driving can be fun. Disruption. Prove to the world that fun and function can live together by showcasing the Rogue as an agile, fun-to-drive urban accomplice. Inspiration struck in the form of the much-loved Marble Maze game. Its familiarity and degree of difficulty were exactly what was needed to showcase the Rogue's performance capabilities and to have fun doing so. Our first step was to seed the Marble Maze game back into popular culture by releasing two entertaining videos into cyberspace. Their purpose? to build conversation around the Rogue name and foreshadow the bigger campaign which was just around the corner. The first video introduced the self-proclaimed Maze Master, a young man with an uncanny aptitude for the classic Marble Maze game. 41, 43, you're taking it home. Off the way, you made it! Yeah! <laughs> A week later, when he had gathered some fans, the Maze Master took his act to the next level, navigating the labyrinth from the wheel of his all-new Nissan Rogue. As the clicks built into the hundreds of thousands, we took the maze theme to mammoth proportions. With the launch of an epic 60-second TV spot, the Rogue made its debut to 13.1 million viewers during the season premiere of NBC's hit show Heroes, in which the Rogue also made a cameo, playing an integral part in the plot. Introducing a whole new way to move. A whole new way to grip the road. A whole new way to deal with traffic. A whole new way to enjoy the city. Introducing the all-new Nissan Rogue with our intuitive all-wheel drive system. It's a whole new crossover from Nissan. The all-new Nissan Rogue. Game on. The next day, the road took the net by storm. Blogs, message boards and even Heroes fans were chatting, resulting in another spike across the vast community of consumers. Meanwhile, to further engage our target of media plurists, we went live with interactive ad pods, retro theme game ads and downloadable mobile content. All meant to entertain while imparting key information about the Rogue. Through this retro game metaphor and entertaining content online and offline, we engaged our target, seeded a brand new vehicle nameplate, and launched the new Nissan Rogue. How did we do? In October, the Rogue section received the most traffic to NissanUSA.com for any model ever in one month. On October 11th, the Rogue Creative garnered a 0.24% CRT. That's a higher performance than any other newly introduced Nissan product. As of November, the games were played on NissanUSA.com over 275,000 times. The viral videos were voted top four viral videos of 2007 by Yahoo. The Rogue was the seventh most searched topic on Yahoo, making it more popular than Britney Spears and NFL football. It was also the number one most searched car for 2007 on Cars.com. On the day of the premiere, the NBC.com Heroes page Roadblock received 1,908,737 impressions. That's 21% over objective. The click-through rate from Heroes to Rogue landing page on NissanUSA.com was 0.63%. That's six times greater than the industry average. 
This was an unprecedented launch for Nissan, with over 120,000 hand raises. In the first month, Rogue sales were 19% over objective and showed no signs of slowing down. Proof that our target was ready for a car that made driving in the city fun again.